Jeff, we were in time pressure in another game, so we don't have much time, but you did have an opportunity here, uh, two opportunities, in fact, Queen C2, and the way you played F4, Knight takes, and Queen F3, looks like it would have been advantageous for you. When you played here, Queen D2, did you think that I you just have to shut this position down or just uh, didn't see his Knight D3? Uh, yeah, I completely blundered at Knight D3. Um, I definitely thought I was uh, much better after Queen D2, but yeah, Knight D3 was kind of a cold shower for me. There's been some half points you've missed in this tournament. You could have drawn against Darius with a Bishop D4 move. Now this one, you've got to be a little bit under the skin, seeing that there's a couple of moments you could have had a much better score. Yeah, that's true. Uh, after, I would say I was very lucky to, uh, to survive against Shanklin, but yeah, as you mentioned, maybe these, uh, the game against Schwartz, maybe Wesley against Wesley could have done better. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's part of uh, the tournament, and yeah, it is what it is. Do you feel like you're getting a little bit closer? Take some lessons from this game to prepare you to be stronger for the future? Oh, for sure, yeah. Coming here to play uh, 36 games, I guess, against these guys is just huge for, uh, for my chess development. So, yeah, the more games I get, the more I learn. So. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Very, very quick question for you, Jeffrey, because we're almost out of time. Tw uh, your, your feeling, you've played 2,800 grandmasters, you play 2,700 grandmasters. What's the big difference between those two weight divisions? Yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, I would say that the, when I play this event, it feels like, you know, there isn't too big of a gap. I mean, we're all human, we're all making mistakes. So, yeah, it's very hard to say. Okay. Thank you and good luck tomorrow.